Hi and welcome to Love Doing Yoga on this we are halfway through January already can you believe it? I uh, hope you had a lovely weekend looking forward to a nice week ahead. Our theme for this practice is present, being present or indeed giving ourselves the present of doing yoga and taking some time out. Um, but no, it's really about just focusing on being in the present moment. Um, so let's dip in and out of that as we work our way through our practice. A um, couple of nice flows and balances in this practice, so hopefully you will enjoy that. So when you are ready, let us lie down. Making yourself nice and comfortable on your mat. Closing your eyes. Softening your body. As you let go of your day and everything that's going on in your world. And just be here in the present moment, aware of yourself on your mat. And let's just take this time to join together our body and our mind through our breath. And as you lie here, just become aware of your connection points with the mat. Backs of your heels, your calves, thighs, glutes, the back of your rib cage, your shoulder blades, the back of your head. Noticing how they interact with your mat. Noticing the mat. Holding you here securely. Notice how your arms are connected to the mat. And just focus on that connection between yourself and your mat. The support and security it brings. And then taking your right hand, just um, press against the right nostril as we breathe through our left nostril for three breaths. And when you're ready, releasing that right nostril. And let's block the left nostril and breathe through the right nostril for three breaths.
and then releasing that left nostril. Let's do the alternate nostril breathing. So you've done this before. So letting your index and forefinger rest on your forehead with your right, your thumb just close to your right nostril, your ring finger close to your left nostril. And let's close the right nostril. Inhale through the left nostril. And then release the right, right nostril as you close the left nostril, exhaling through your right nostril. Inhaling now through the right. And then switch to exhale through the left. So we take an exhale and then an inhale on one side and then exhale and inside, inhale on the other nostril. So let's again try that for three breaths. And when you're ready, then taking the hand down and just taking two breaths, just normal inhaling through your nose into your belly, pause and then exhale. And when you're ready, bending your knees, rolling over onto your side, let's make our way up to stand at the top of the mat. And as you're standing here, checking in uh, that the feet are hip width apart and equal weight on both feet, that weight evenly distributed across the feet, the ball to the heel, and ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, standing up nice and tall, extending the spine. Standing as tall as you can. And then let's just turn those feet outwards. And we're going to come down into our squat. So making your way down, pressing those elbows against the knees and knees against the elbows as you lengthen through the spine. Let's take a breath here. And then bringing the hands down onto the mat. Keeping the length in the spine. And making your way up into a forward fold, bending the knees as much as you need to as you warm up. And coming all the way up to stand. Good. And we are going to flow through this a couple of times. So turning the feet out, coming down, lengthen through the spine. Hands down in front of you, taking a breath. And rising up to a forward fold as those feet point forward once again. Bending the knees, coming all the way up. Bringing the arms down into prayer at the chest. Turning the feet out, down we go again. 
working with your body. Hands on the mat, lengthening through the spine. Rising up to your forward fold. Getting a little deeper now and coming all the way up to stand. And again, coming into your squat. Hands on the mat. Turning the toes to the front as you come to your forward fold. And all the way up to stand, hands in prayer at the chest. Flowing through it now two more times. And one last time through to your squat. Rising up. Nice and deep. Hopefully you're getting a little bit deeper in your forward fold. And all the way up to stand at the top of your mat. And then from here, let's just bring the hands onto the hips and shift the weight into that right leg. Lifting up the left leg. So the knee is in line with the hip, keeping that left foot flexed. And then let's just circle that foot. Circle the ankle, first in one direction then in the other and then taking stillness drawing that knee back so it lines up with the right knee and then if you're able to hold on to your left foot do finding your point of balance here One more breath. And then releasing that left foot down as we take it over to the other side. So raising up the right leg, having that knee up at the same height as the hip. Let's circle the ankle. First in one direction, then taking it in the other direction. And then coming to stillness for a breath. And drawing that right leg back so the knees are level with each other and holding on to the right foot if you can. Finding your point of stillness. And remember, as you exhale, drawing up that pelvic floor, belly button in and up. As you engage the core. One more breath here. And then releasing that foot down. So both feet are now hip width apart once again. Bringing the hands into prayer at the chest. We're gonna 
lower down to come into a toe stand. So the heels can rise up as you lower down towards the mat. Length through the spine, finding a point of stillness. Noticing how hard, well, my toes anyway, have to work hard to keep this balance. One more breath. And then letting the hands come down onto the mat, just coming around to the side. And let's stretch the left leg out to the side, keeping that uh, foot flexed so you really feel a stretch along the calf and the um, hamstrings. One more breath here. And then let's take that over to the other side. Flexing the foot, feeling the stretch. And coming back to rise up and take it to the top of the mat. And at the top of the mat, again, feet hip width apart, pointing forward, equal weight in both feet, standing up nice and tall. And we're gonna run through a couple of sun salutes here. So raising the arms up, palms together, raise the gaze, take a breath. Inhale again here and exhale through to forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift or lengthen spine and exhale again into forward fold. Inhale to step that right leg back. Exhale as you rise up. Inhale here again. And exhale through into your plank. And let's take three breaths here in plank. Keeping those shoulders over the wrists and a softness in the elbows. Coming down, knees and feet, chest and belly. And then inhale as you right, draw the forehead and chest away from the mat. Exhale into your tabletop. Adjusting your position, inhale. Lifting up into your downward dog and then just pedal your way here. Your legs should be quite well warmed up, but just encouraging that extra stretch in them in downward dog. Pressing away from the mat with the heels of your uh, hands. Lengthening through the spine, gaze towards the belly button. Two more breaths here. On your next inhale, raising up the right leg. And exhale as you step it through. 
Inhale, rising up to your low lunge. And then folding forward, exhale up into your forward fold. Inhaling all the way up to stand at the top of your mat. So we're going to flow through that. Don't worry too much about when you're inhaling, when you're exhaling. Just try to inhale on one movement, exhale on the other. So we're flowing through the sun salute quite quickly. Uh, and then we're going to pause at the plank for three breaths and in the downward dog for three breaths. And the rest of it, see, can you flow through it quite quickly. Work with your own body in your own time. Maybe close your eyes if you want to and just really flow and really feel that you are totally present and part of this sun salute. And don't forget, if you get lost, just take a look at the video and get yourself back on track. So hopefully you got through that. I'm sure you did. You must all know the sun salute really well. So we're going to try that again, once on each side. And again, just focusing on being totally present. So you're not going to hear my voice. You're just going to be in your own mo moment, moving with your own breath. There's no right or wrong. Just go with the flow, you know the general movements, don't worry if you get lost, no one's judging you. Just flow and yeah, get into it, get into the, mo into the moment and the movement. And I'm going to do it once on each side and I will speak to you at the end of that. So hopefully we'll be fairly close in timing.
school. Hopefully you got through it uh, and you enjoyed it and you felt that you were really present and in union with yourself throughout that. So from here, once again, shifting the weight into that right leg, let's raise up the left leg. And this time, see, can you open it out? So you have the leg raised in front of you. Making your quad work a little bit hard here. To keep that left leg elevated, one more breath if you can. And then letting that left leg come down as we raise the right leg up and extend it. And one more breath here. And then bringing that right leg down, drawing the arms up over the head, sweeping them out to the side, forward fold here. And making your way down onto your mat as we come to lie down. A little bit of core work ahead of us now. So from here, bending the knees, raising the legs up. And let's very slowly lower them towards the mat, as slow as you can. And then letting them come all the way down. And then bending the knees, raising them up. Feet looking at the ceiling, soles of the feet. And raise up the arms. And let's very slowly lower the left leg and the right arm towards the ground. Letting it hover here. And then drawing it back up again. And let's take it on the other side. And drawing it back. And swapping again. Trying to make the movement nice and slow and smooth. And once more on either side. Really good work for your core, this. I'm sure you can feel it. And good for your coordination too. And then hugging those knees into the chest, just take a little sway from side to side. And coming to stillness, let those legs come up again. Soles of the feet facing the ceiling. And let's just pedal those legs. Cycling here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one, hugging the knees 
into the chest. And taking a little movement here to massage out the back. And then letting the left foot just come down onto the mat, extending out the right leg. And draw the arms all the way behind your head. Taking that full body stretch. And drawing those arms back down by your side as you draw your right leg in, extend the left leg out. And again, drawing the arms all the way over the head behind you. One more breath here. And bringing the arms down once again by your sides, bending the left leg, drawing up the pelvis as you drop your arms, your hands in underneath your pelvis. And just sitting up temporarily as you draw the elbows behind you and let's extend out the legs and drop the head back. One more breath. And from here, once again, coming down onto your mat, bending your right leg and crossing your left uh, leg across the right and then raise that right leg up with the soles of the feet facing the ceiling and you can clasp behind the back of that right thigh. One more breath here. And letting that right leg come down on the left and then cross the right leg over the left, raising up that left leg again, the sole of the foot looking at the ceiling. So you're getting the stretch in the left leg as well as the right glute. One more breath here. And letting both feet once again come down onto the mat. Let's uh, activate those feet now, pressing them into the mat as you rise up into a bridge, lifting those hips up. One more breath here. And then lowering yourself down onto your mat. 
And once again, hugging your knees into your chest. And just being conscious again of yourself on your mat. Being totally in the present moment. And then let's let those feet come down onto the mat, extending out the legs, letting those feet flop out to the side. Palms facing upwards. Giving the body time now to recuperate and absorb all that you've done. As you let go your toes, the soles of your feet, letting go the tops of your feet, your heels and ankles, letting go your calves and your shins. your knees, front and back. Letting go your thighs, front and back. Letting go your glutes and your pelvis. The whole back of your body back of your rib cage, shoulder blades, just let it go. Letting go the front of your body, front of your rib cage, chest and shoulders. Letting go your armpits, Upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, backs of your hands, the palms of your hands and your fingers. The whole of your arms, just let them go. Letting go the back of your head, the crown of your head, your forehead, eyebrows, eyes, cheeks, jaw, chin, lips and tongue. The whole of your body, just let it go. And let your heart fill with gratitude for this present moment. Letting your attention now go to your breath. As you inhale through your nose, into your belly, Pause and then exhale. And imagine you're on your favorite mountain. Find a place on your mountain. Look up at the sky. And look at the ground. And notice 
everything around you. The sound, the smell, the textures, the temperature. Notice how you're connected to the mountain. and how that mountain is connected to the universe. And how you, as part of the mountain, are all connected. And spend a little time here, 